We always see your studio and we see you have a guitar behind you, but do you even play guitar or are you just posing because you just have a guitar and it looks kind of cool? Well, I got to tell you something. I'm glad you asked. Get ready to change the world one blockchain at a time with George Levy, your single source of truth for blockchain, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Hey, Blockchain Visionaries, I'm George Levy, and in this channel, I talk to you about blockchain, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrencies. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I bring you brand new videos. I publish brand new videos every single week. And additionally, everything I'll be talking to you about, all the links are going to be included in the description. Today, I want to talk to you about living in a post-trust world. Now, one of the key things that I've learned being in blockchain is that I've learned the maxim, do not trust, always verify. I have a, published a previous video in which I talked about the fact that I learned this by actually installing my first uh, full node on Bitcoin. If you're not familiar with what a full node is, it's basically a node that is a computer in this case in my house that has a full copy of the Bitcoin blockchain and it serves to validate all transactions that go through it. I actually contribute to making the Bitcoin network safer by running a full node. Now, what's interesting is I explained in this video that the first time or whenever you install a full node, you first have to get a full copy of the Bitcoin blockchain. You would think you would just download the Bitcoin blockchain, but that's not the way the Bitcoin protocol works. And what the software does is when it's downloading the latest version of the Bitcoin blockchain, it verifies each and every single block of the entire blockchain that it downloads. That is, it doesn't trust that the version that you're downloading from the network is actually the correct version. Instead, the computer, as it's installing the full node, it's actually verifying and validating each and every single block that it downloads. So think about it. If you're downloading 300 gigabytes of uh, data, which is around the size of the Bitcoin blockchain, right? It's actually more than 300 gigabytes. You would think that downloading 300 gigabytes is a lot. Well, it's not just downloading 300 gigabytes. Your computer has to go through the process of validating each and every single block. And there are hundreds of thousands of blocks right now. So think about it. It has to go through that process. That process usually takes more than a week. So when you really think about all of this, what you're really seeing is that not even the Bitcoin software that you're running in your house trusts the entire network. So the key thing that I want to point out to you is that I've talked to you about do not trust, always verify. And I actually started getting some people after that video that started saying, well, how can we trust you, George? I said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, like, for instance, we always see your studio and we see you have a guitar behind you, but do you even play guitar? Or are you just posing because you just have a guitar and it looks kind of cool? Well, I got to tell you something. I'm glad you asked because one of the challenging things is that nowadays when you really look at anybody, You cannot simply trust that. You have to verify. So this is actually a challenge, and I actually wanted to share this with you because I never pull out my guitar during my videos, but in this case, I wanted to do it, take a stab at it, and uh, just to talk to you a little bit about do not trust, always verify. So here's my guitar. If any of you actually play guitar or you play any other instruments, I would love to hear from you. Uh, Leave it in the comments and uh, let me know what you're all about. So... uh, One thing that a lot of people don't realize is that uh, when I first got into the whole internet, I actually was the front man for a rock band. And uh, what happened to me was that when I began in the music industry, the music industry was over $20 billion a year. We're talking the mid 90s. Um, It was a great time to be a performer. Uh, You could just record a song, you could basically get a CD, you'd sell millions of copies of the CD, and there's your money. Uh, And then the internet came along. When the internet came along and Napster was created, all of a sudden a song could be turned into an MP3, which people give away for free. Well, when that happened, it completely destroyed the music industry. And in fact, many of the record labels started uh, downsizing my uh, album, even though I was recorded. Eventually the label dropped me and uh, because they basically could not keep up because my music had turned into free mp3s which were being spread all over the world and that was a frustrating thing for me that being said what i can say is that i transitioned myself out of actually being the front man for a rock band and actually joined an internet startup and that internet startup raised over 147 million dollars i was then acquired uh the company was acquired by microsoft where i became a regional manager uh for the entire uh, region of latin america and uh my career as a digital marketer and an internet specialist 
was born. So from the music industry, I transitioned into uh, the digital world. Eventually, I wound up getting into blockchain, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrencies, which is where I'm at today. But what I got to tell you is that everything goes full circle. Because whereas back then, an MP3 would basically be given away for free, nowadays, thanks to cryptocurrencies and what are known as non-fungible tokens or NFTs, the music industry is making a comeback. And there are millions of dollars being generated from the sale of NFTs. That is, you're taking a digital file, you're taking a digital asset, in this case, an NFT of any type, and you can sell it. And some of them have sold, in fact, one NFT sold for over $60 million. But let me bring you back to where we are right now about do not trust, always verify. Because I may be trying to talk my way out of playing the guitar. So this is me. And uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is that when I got into the... Uh, into the whole space of digital marketing, I actually wanted to get a song out. And there's a song I really like, uh, which is uh, Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi. And I actually went viral with a different video I created for a song called Wanted Dead or Online. Uh, so instead of Wanted Dead or Alive, Wanted Dead or Online. If you look at the world what we've become now, post-pandemic, all of us live online. Basically, our online version of ourselves is in many ways more real than the physical version of us. So uh, so I had to get my uh, glasses because I'm having a hard time reading this. I actually have the chord changes here, but uh, I need to get glasses or else I can't read them. Let me try this. Cause I'm a cowboy on a steel horse I ride. I'm wanted, dead or online. Cause I'm wanted, wanted, dead or online So, I can play. Leave me your comments if you play any other instruments. Maybe we'll do a jam together at some point. But what I will tell you is that the world is changing and blockchain is helping make this happen. I'm very excited to be able to share all this information with you. There's a very, very big transformation going on in the music industry with NFTs, non-fungible tokens. I published a video about that as well. And the music industry is actually making a huge comeback by actually being able to sell NFTs, non-fungible tokens. And there are millions of dollars being made. It's a great, great, exciting time to be in the world. Everything revolving about blockchain, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrencies. And I hope you found this video valuable. My lesson to you is that we are living in a post-trust society. Always remember... Do not trust, always verify. Whether it's news, whether it's a government announcement, whether somebody's telling you something, do not trust, always verify. And that's the lesson for today. Hope you found this video valuable. If you liked it, hit like, share with whoever you want. If you're not subscribed yet, hit subscribe. I would love to stay in touch with you. I bring brand new videos every single week and I would love to hear from you. So please leave your comments below. And remember, as I always say, we're changing the world one blockchain at a time.